What's up, Reddit Nation? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel and you would like to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you already subscribed, hit that like, hit that bell so you're notified every time I come out with a brand new video. And also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like what I'm doing or if you don't. Well, Raider Nation, we finally reached 1,000 subscribers, and I would like to really say thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting me since day one. Well, once again, our defense showed up and held another opponent under 14 points. Yes, I know it was only the Jets and the Giants last week, but that's very impressive. If you've been a Raiders fan as long as I have, you know that our defenses have never been great. We always give up a lot of points, and this year, we're doing a really good job of not allowing too many points. We're only averaging about 20.9 points a game, give, giving up, and that's 13th best in the league as of right now. So through 10 weeks of football, for our defense to be in the top 16, the top half of the league on points per game allowed, I think that speaks really good. You know, our defense has really been coming along a lot lately, and I think they're really taking the personality of our head coach in Antonio Pierce. This defense continues to get a lot of pressure. We got another three sacks yesterday, and also we got an interception. That would make three for Robert Spillane. He now leads the league for all linebackers in interceptions. And you know what? Ever since we got him this offseason, I knew he was going to be a dog. And we've really been getting a lot of pressure from the interior defensive line. Guys like John Jenkins, um, Jerry Tillery, Adam Butler, all these guys have been getting a lot of pressure on opposing quarterbacks and have been making Max Crosby's job a hell of a lot easier. Shit, even Malcolm Kuntz got his sack. We've been generating a lot of pressure by blitzing guys like blitzing Robert Spillane and we be blitzing Marcus Epps a lot on that safety blitz. So we've really been giving opposing teams different looks and that's a big credit to Patrick Graham. The, this guy, you know, his first year we didn't do really well. And this year, he's got a lot of his players on the defensive side of the ball. And he's been really coaching a really good game these last few weeks. You know, I know it's only Zach Wilson and DeVito. I don't know his first name out there for the Giants. I know those are two crappy quarterbacks. But hey, you know, for us to average, that's nine points. For us to average nine points in the two games against those two quarterbacks, I think that's really good. That shows just how far we've really come. From, you know, giving up 30 to Tyson Badgett in Chicago. And like I said earlier, guys, this defense is really taking on the personality of their head coach. They're playing with so much enthusiasm, so much grit, so much swag. And, you know, it, it really helps that Antonio Pierce was a linebacker. He was a leader. You know, he was a captain of his defense. So it's only natural for him to be a leader of a, of a team. He's a great head coach. And he's really helping his case to potentially be the head coach moving forward. You know, these next two weeks are going to be very telling. We got Miami in Miami, and then we come back home against Kansas City. So these next two games are huge. There's about five teams that all have five wins. We're all five teams fighting for that seventh wild card spot, that last wild card spot, guys. We're right in the hunt. We're right smack dab in the middle of it. So let, let's see. How we continue these next two weeks. You know, our offense really needs to get better. Which brings me to the offense. You know, we saw some good things and some bad things with Aiden O'Connell. You know, he threw an interception in the first half. But that's expected. He's a rookie. And when you go against a top three defense in the Jets. And we only threw one interception. Only, You know, I think that's really good. You know, Jalen Hurts, I think, threw three interceptions against the Jets. And I think Patrick Mahomes threw two. So, you know, these guys are going to get their interceptions. And for us to only get one, I know Josh Jacobs coughed up the ball. You know, that was a very bad mistake by him, which he usually doesn't fumble. But like I said, he kept it only down to one. He didn't throw over 200 yards, but that's because we didn't need him to. We had Josh Jacobs. And shout out to Josh Jacobs. He finally got over 100 yards and he was finally able to average more than four yards a carry. That's the, those are his season best on both and on on uh, carries. He got 27 carries. So by far, he was the reason why we won this game. Shay, we almost lost the game because of him because he fumbled. But our defense stepped up, getting another interception. But like I said, shout out to Josh Jacobs. 
His last two games have been his best of the season. And how funny, right? Just when Josh McDaniels gets fired and Antonio Pierce comes in, Josh Jacobs just takes off. Why that is? Well, plenty of reasons. Well, for one, we have a quarterback that, that could throw down the field and defense respect that. For another thing, Antonio Pierce told him that he's the heart and soul of this team. He told him that the offense runs through him. We're going to go as far as he goes. I think that was music to Josh Jacobs' ears. There's reports coming out now that Josh Jacobs was on his way out, that he wasn't willing to re-sign with the Raiders this next coming season. And now, with the change at the head coach position, shit, Josh Jacobs might not never leave. He might be a Raider for life. And I'm so excited to hear that. And you know, our defense gave up two sacks. Aiden O'Connell was under pressure all game. But we also didn't have Colton Miller out there, our best offensive lineman. We had a Jermaine and Luminor out there at left tackle. And we had Thayer Munford at the right. So, you know, Jermaine and Luminor, he had to switch positions midweek. You know, and he did a pretty good job, guys. We only gave up two sacks to one of the top three defenses in the league. Moving forward, I would like to see us get that cleaned up. But hey, you know, we only gave up two sacks and we still got the win. But something that was really frustrating to see that I noticed was our inability to run the hurry up offense. Every time we try to catch them off guard and run a play to uh, keep the same men on the field so the defense couldn't substitute when we would hurry up, it would always result in a negative play. You know, it would be a tackle for loss, it would be a fumble, it would be a sack. Man, it was getting really frustrating. And another thing was, what's up with all these screens? It seemed like every pass play was behind the line of scrimmage or we were pitching the ball to Josh. The only play that you know took me by surprise that I really liked was that fake tush push sweep to DeAndre Carter. Which brings me to my next point. Shout out to DeAndre Carter. He had his best game as a Raider. He really had two great returns, one kickoff and one punt which really gave us great field position. And I think we ended up getting points out of both those drives. And like I said, he got the first down on that fourth and one, that fake tush push sweep. He, I think, got like a 20, 30 yard gain. That was really cool to see him get more involved. We've really been getting a lot of more guys involved, if you notice. You know, Michael Mayer got his first uh, touchdown of the season. Hunter Renfro got, I think, two catches. So we've really been getting everyone involved. Devontae even got eight catches for 87 yards, guys. So, you know, he was dancing in the locker room after the game. So as long as we could keep that guy happy, keep Josh Jacobs happy, we're going to be just fine. Going into Miami, I think these Raiders could pull up an upset and win. But we're going to have to play mistake-free. You know, we're going to have to cause some turnovers. We're going to have to get to the quarterback. I want to see more from Tyree Wilson. I want to see more... From Devin Diablo, Trayvon Merrick, you know, Jacorian Bennett. This defense needs to really start to come alive. You know, the last two games were averaging nine points allowed. And I hope that trend continues as we got Miami and Kansas City next, guys. But that's it for this video. You know, like I said, I'm really happy our Raiders are winning right now. We're really looking good with this new head coach. This team is really taking the personality of their head coach. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Until next time, Raider Nation, peace.